On this video we're taking a look at our CBB parlay for the games that are happening on Friday, March 4, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, Richmond vs Davidson. Over 137. And here is why. The Davidson Wildcats have been dependent on the production of junior guard Foster Lawyer, as he is playing 30.8 minutes and is averaging 16.5 points, 3.2 rebounds, 3.4 assists, and 0.8 steals per game. He has done an incredible job at shooting the basketball so far as he is 45% from the field, 44.5% from beyond the arc, and 92.7% from the charity stripe. In his last game against St. Louis, Lawyer finished with 21 points, 5 rebounds, and a steal in 23 minutes of action. The defense of the Richmond Spiders has been doing a decent job as they are allowing 68.6 points per game so far. The Spiders are giving up 44.5% this season and 34.6% from distance as of this game. This is a very tricky number to gauge. These teams have played a combined 5 games in the A-10 tournament, and those games have gone 4-1 to the over. Now, only one of those games had a similar total, and that was Davidson's game against St. Louis on Saturday, which finished at 153 points. Richmond's games have gone 12 to 18 to the over on the season, which is the second worst rate in the A-10, however, in the Spiders' last six games as an underdog, they are 4-1-1 to the over. The previous meeting back in January had a point total of 146, and that game finished over as well. There will not be as many points scored in this game, however these offenses are too talented to finish under this number. Play the over. Our second parlay pick is. Memphis vs Houston. Houston minus 3.5 points. And here is why. Senior guard Kyler Edwards has been playing well for the Houston Cougars as he is averaging 13.5 points, 5.8 rebounds, 3 assists, 0.4 blocks, and 1 steal in 33.5 minutes per game. He has been shooting decently well, but can improve as he is shooting 36.9% from the field, 31.8% from beyond the arc, and 71.3% from the charity stripe. In his last game against Memphis, Edwards played 34 minutes and finished with 20 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists. The Memphis Tigers and the Houston Cougars will meet on Sunday for the American Athletic Conference Championship. Memphis is one of the hottest teams in college basketball winning 6 straight games and 12 out of their last 13. The Tigers beat UCF and SMU over the past two days to punch their ticket into the OCT title game on Sunday. This team should hear their name called on Selection Sunday due to their last month of basketball, but a win here would ensure their spot in the tournament. They have beaten Houston both times they have met this season, so this should be a great championship game on Sunday afternoon. The Houston Cougars have been giving up 58.8 points per game so far this season. They are leading the sport with 36.9% as a whole this season, while also giving up 29.3% from three this year, which is 11th in the country. To take down Houston for a third time this season, the Tigers will need to play a more efficient game than they showed against SMU. Memphis will not get 20-plus more rebounds than Houston in this game. In the matchup at Houston, Memphis won the rebounding battle 34-30, which will be more in line with this upcoming battle. In addition, the Cougars actually out-rebounded Memphis on the offensive glass, 8-6. Memphis also turned the ball over 19 times in the first game, but benefited from an equally sloppy Cougar team that turned it over 19 times as well. Memphis can't expect Houston to be that generous in this game. Memphis will need to rely on the inside strength of Duran and the timely shooting of the likes of Lomax and Lester Quinones. Houston has not defeated Memphis so far this season, but they were still able to win the OC regular season title. They lost just three league games throughout conference play and beat out SMU by 1.5 games for the title. This has not been the same Houston team since two starters went down, but they are still a top 25 team in the country. Memphis has been outstanding over the past month, but I think Houston gets their revenge in this one. This is a quick turnaround for both teams and I think Houston has the coaching advantage over Memphis. I expect Houston to be locked in defensively and cause Memphis to turn the ball over at a higher rate. I think the Ox still runs through Houston and they cover this short spread here. Our third parlay pick for today is. Memphis vs Houston. 
over 133.5 points. And here is why. Memphis moved past the 20-win plateau with a 70-63 win over second-seeded SMU on Saturday night. They are now 21-9 on the season after being 11-8 less than two months ago. With a win, the Tigers are all but assured of an NCAA tournament invite regardless of Sunday's outcome. After defeating UCF on Friday night behind a dominant 21-point, 20-rebound effort from freshman Jalen Duran, the Tigers used a more balanced approach to take out the Mustangs. Six different Tigers scored at least eight points, led by 12 points each from Alex Lomax, and Landers Noli 2. Duran was quiet on this night, scoring just nine points with seven rebounds. Memphis shot just 41% overall and turned the ball over 19 times against SMU's aggressive defense. However, the Tigers made up for that with a dominant performance on the glass. Memphis out-rebounded SMU 45-28, including a 16-5 edge on the offensive glass. The Houston Cougars waltz into the OC tournament title game off of two relatively easy wins in the tournament and eight wins in their last nine games. After trailing by five points at halftime of their quarterfinal game against Cincinnati, the Cougars have outscored the opposition by 38 points in the last three 20-minute periods. With big man Fabian White leaving the game early with back spasms, his Cougar teammates picked up the slack. Kyler Edwards had 20 points with six three-pointers, along with eight assists, seven rebounds and only one turnover. Juan Roberts, playing increased minutes with wide out, matched a career high with 10 points and added 13 rebounds. Tulane shot surprisingly well against Houston's stingy defense, shooting 46% overall. Houston dominated the glass, 43-21 as they secured another double-digit win. The Memphis Tigers and the Houston Cougars will face off on Sunday afternoon for the American Athletic Conference Championship game. The total for this game is 133.5 points, and I am playing the over. I am playing the over because Memphis plays at a very fast pace which I think will speed up Houston. According to Ken Palm, Memphis ranks top 50 in adjusted tempo and average possession length. The Tigers play very quickly and turn the ball over at a high rate, which should allow for some easy baskets for Houston throughout the game. Both teams are great at offensive rebounding, so there should be an increased number of possessions. I think the total is too low for these teams that are efficient defensively. Take the over. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.